satisfactory is Satisfactory is... Satisfactory is just good gaming. Satisfactory is a first person factory building game developed by Coffee Stain Studios, known for developing and publishing titles like Deep Rock Galactic, Valheim, and Goat Simulator. The game is in the alpha state at the moment, starting its development in Unreal Engine 4 before being ported over to Unreal 5, but even at these early stages, it's still just good gaming. Satisfactory has a light sprinkling of story that's mostly background noise provided through context clues or conveyed with none of the grace of GLaDOS through your ship's AI named Ada. Milestone reached. The menu All you really need to know is, is that you're an employee of Fix It Inc. and it's your job to contribute to Project Assembly. You accomplish this task by exploring the planet and exploiting it for its resources through machinery and factory building. Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. Gameplay is similar to Factorio, another factory building game, where the main difference is the top-down perspective of Factorio versus the first-person perspective of Satisfactory. Your main goal is to contribute to the ever-rising demands of the Fix-It company while doing light survival. Somehow, Coffee Stain has taken the elements of math, organization, logistics, engineering, and made it fun. Cool. So, over here, We've got 360 units per minute of oil coming in. I'm only using 120 at the moment. Okay. Um, these two are rubber, and rubber uses 30 oil each, so that's 60. These two are plastic. They use 30 oil each, so that's 60. Um, they have, when all four of them are on, they will have a byproduct of uh, 60 crude oil, and that's where I will put that. That turns the crude oil into actual fuel. Um, the fuel comes into these buffers until we get this packager and this constructor online. Um, by the end of this, we'll have um, 30 plastic and 40 rubber popping out a minute, and Again, this is only using a third of the oil that we're bringing up. All right. Okay. Not bad. And even though my factories come out looking like this, it's just good game. Coffee Stain really have outdone themselves with the alien world you're dropped on. The Unreal Engine 5 really shines. From its vast, lush, green, vegetated tropical forest to its dry, arid deserts, or to the depths of its mysterious caves. There is plenty to see on this enormous 5.4 by 5.4 kilometer handmade map. Relaying message. Hello, this is Paternal Figure. I have taken ill and need your help to find a cure. Doctors say that the only remedy is alien artifacts. Movement is unexpectedly fluid and dynamic, boasting a multitude of movement options, precise air control, and a good bit of momentum retention. Coffee Stain has given us the apex legends of factory building games. Long after you have vehicles and a jetpack, you'll still be just as entertained hoofing it on your own two feet. And that's just good gaming. Sites are only complemented by the attention to detail that was clearly taken on sound. Every sound from pulling a lever, placing a machine, to shooting a rebar gun is just impactful. 
clunky and mechanical, which is only juxtaposed to the relaxing ambience of the rushing water and long gone called the planet's fauna. It's just good gaming. And what game isn't better with friends? Multiplayer is honestly still a bit on the buggy side. It works and it's generally okay for the most part, but my friends and I have encountered some bugs and the minimal ones we did encounter never hindered us for more than a minute. But the devs have a disclaimer once you enter the game that states that multiplayer is buggier than single player and to please work with them. Satisfactory also regularly patches their game and is available for feedback for any bugs you might encounter. Satisfactory also boasts a large Discord community who are very helpful for players who are having build problems or any other technical problems. And that is just good gaming. Satisfactory is a game of problem solving. You're presented with a clear goal, but how you accomplish that goal is your choice. Do you build three machines or overclock one? Should you build on water or on the top of a cliff? Or should you forge it out by hand? You're free to choose how you go about your mission. And that's just good gaming.